Thank you very much. So uh, I'm, uh, my name is Jordi Scribo and I will be giving this presentation on the uh, registry software together with Juan Martin Pellegrina from Bilbomatica, which is one of the contractors that uh, is helping us to, to push this project uh, forward. So the Inspire registry is one of the Inspire central components together with the Inspire portal and the Inspire reference validator. And uh, we are now pushing uh, 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 to, to um, maintenance, uh, maintaining all these projects uh, uh, which are open source uh, uh, by the com community and also um, pushing for uh, sustainable connections with uh, OGL. So uh, I will be just introducing the, the presentation and then I will pass the, the floor to, to Juan uh, in order to introduce the technical details of the project and our activities on community engagement. So uh, um, what is a, a registry, uh, uh, are in the registers? Uh, so a registry is a container or reference code, so uh, the idea is to identify list of things. This list could, mm, these things could be code list, uh, uh, enumerations, uh, the difference is that code lists are extensible, enumerations are not, uh, taxonomies, control vocabularies, glossaries, etc. So uh, the idea is to uh, manage the changes of, of these items over time. Uh, this is the concept of versioning, so that you are able to reference any of the versions of these items uh, and uh, check between them the differences that uh, have been registered in the registry. Uh, the, the, um, the registries uh, are uh, useful uh, in order to avoid common mistakes, like, uh, for example, uh, entering synonyms uh, of a concept or misspellings uh, when filling out uh, uh, online forms uh, or even uh, XML files, for example. Uh, facilitates also the internationalization of the user interfaces by providing multilingual labels. So uh, any of the descriptions uh, uh, of these uh, items uh, could be uh, translated into di different languages and all these elements are also registered as part of the content of, of the database. And uh, this is really useful to ensure semantic interoperability uh, when exchanging data between systems and applications. So uh, uh, the idea is to increase the value of these reference codes uh, uh, when they are uh, widely used by and referenced by the community. So uh, uh, the registries uh, software is a system of registers. So uh, allows sharing this um, and, and management um, of these reference codes uh, through the use of uh, persistent uh, URIs or persistent identifiers which are governed in a consistent manner. So, so any of the items that are co considered in the database are referenced by uh, persistent identifier uh, and you can point uh, uh, these elements in your work. So. Uh, uh, provides the central access points where these labels and uh, reference codes descriptions are easily accessible by both humans and machines. So it's not only something in the database, but uh, you, you can also browse uh, all these items and the descriptions uh, in a front end. And uh, as I said, uh, fosters semantic and organization interoperability. The, the registry have been uh, funded by the ARENA and ELISE actions. And uh, more recently, it has been also included uh, within the Digital uh, Europe uh, uh, funding program. Uh, and the idea is to get the, this uh, uh, software, um, the registry, within the common service platform, which is envisaged in this uh, digital action. You can find more, more information in the link below. Uh, and uh, it's also you know, important to say that the, um, the use of the registry is not only for geospatial SDIs, but that could be reduced for any, in any domain. Uh, uh, including uh, geospatial. So it should not be necessary to, to have a geospatial domain. So you can reference it in any of the domains that uh, you uh, would have these needs. And finally, um, 
about the federation tool. Uh, this is a, another uh, uh, additional component associated to, associated to the registry where uh, the national extensions to, to the national registries can be, can be uh, browsed in a single place. Um, uh, this was worn uh, uh, as a testbed for, for bringing this national extension of uh, inspired data models in a single place. And the idea is that uh, the content of uh, all these uh, extensions and registries, different registries are, uh, let's say, uh, introduced in, in a kind of a decade uh, application profile format, which is the raw format, uh, in order to uh, make them uh, uh, ready to use, browsable, um, and uh, uh, browsing in such kind of uh, application. The idea is to um, uh, uh, make uh, different uh, uses to, to access uh, these extensions in, a, in, a, uh, in an easy way. Uh, the, also, the, the, this component could be also reused, uh, like the registry, and uh, yes, um, uh, could be also customized uh, uh, in the front end. And uh, I will give the floor to Juan, which will continue. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jordi. Uh, well, uh, as Jordi was saying, I am the pro one of the project manager of the of this project. I'm here on behalf of a consortium of three companies: Guadaltel and Bilbomatica from Spain and Epsilon Italia. And also, I have to say that our technical leader, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to to fly here because of. Uh, an illness. So I'm going to try to give you a brief overview about the, the registry, the functionalities in, in 15 minutes. So uh, the, as you all know, the registry is an open source solution. It's a Java application that is using a Postgres SQL as database, but uh, can be adapted to use different kind of uh, databases. And also uh, the search engine is a Solar. Uh, data is for, for the back end and the front end is a bootstrap and, and JavaScript on an Apache server. So there are three main components, three, three parts of the, of the registry that are the, the back end, that is the administrator side of the registry, and then all the information of the back end is available on the IPI, and then there is a front end that is the is for, for the user to visualize what is uh, provided in, in, in the uh, IPA. So the functionalities of the backend, which is the, the administrative side, the administrative component of the, of the registry, is a, you need to, to log in, has the, the login functionality, and then according to the role that you have, because there are different roles, you will see one, one dashboard or, or other dashboard. Uh, the, as Jordi was saying, the, the main purpose of the registry is a managed uh, content. So allows you to create, modify, delete uh, items uh, also, it's quite important because it's keeping the versioning of the items that you are updating or you are even deleting, and most of them are accessible, and it's uh, multilingual. In addition, uh, for managing the, the content, the, the registry is uh, already having implemented a workflow according to the, to the standard, to the ISO standard. Uh, that is the workflow that you can see, is, a, is the one of the standards. So there is a draft, you submit the draft that can be accepted or not, and then if it's accepted, it's valid, then publish it not, can be accepted with changes, uh, go back to draft, and uh, on also the, 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 the draft, the proposal can be not, not accepted. So the, we are still talking about the seed admin, the, the, the back end that have uh, several functionalities. One of them is that you can configure the, the display, the, the, the settings. So you can add, if you want or you need it, new, new fields to the, to the item, or you can de delete the fields that already have. You can change the, the color, the, the display of, of everything that 
you, you want in order to do it more, more suitable for, for you, for your purpose. Uh, as we were saying before, the, the workflow is, is well defined because it's the one of the, of the ISO with the, the following roles, submitting organization, control body, register manager, and registry manager. This is the only workflow that actually is implemented in the registry as it is. We are currently working to uh, try to implement new workflow where uh, an easy workflow, a simplified workflow. So you will have the option to, to, to use the, the one from the ISO or even to go to the simplified one or even to, to, to design or to propose a, a new workflow. So these are the, this is the, the workflow with the different dashboard. You can see the dashboard for submitting organizations then with the different action that can be, you submit the, the item that you want to add to that registry, then the control body has to make a decision what to do with this specific item. And once that is approved, is the registry register manager the one who has to, to, <coughs> to publish it. So that we have finished mainly with the main functionalities of the site admin side, the, the, the back end, as we call it, and all of this information is available through an API. So the, the API, you can search by URI, by ID, and by ID and status. We are also currently working on this API, trying to, well, improving the, the API in order to adapt it to the op open API specification. Uh, then, you have the, 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 the front end also has some functionalities. The front end, you can add the, the, the front end to, to the, the, the template, the, the colors of your organization, or you can go to the template that we have by default that are the ones that we, we can see at the bottom of, of the screen. For example, in this, in this slide, you can see the, the, the adaptation that they are doing here in, in Italy that is for, for the Inspire Italy registry, that they are already using this, this software. They are using registry software to provide the, the Inspire registry. They are currently using the version two. Also, the, the front end, the registry has different formats available and allows you to, to add new formats. So you can decide if you want to, to provide new formats. Then, as I, you know, and I already said, uh, this is an open source project. You can find the, the, all the code, all the manuals, all the documentation on, on GitHub under the organization of uh, European Commission and GRC, under the, the project uh, registry, and also on OSGeoLive. Uh, the registry software was included in OSGeoLive 14, and this year is going to be still there. So the latest stable version can be found in OGLI 15 under the folder web services. If you want to start playing around to use it, you just need to, to click on the registry start desktop. Then, how to install it? There are two ways at the moment to, to install the, the application. So you can download the pre-compiled application using, that has been compiled using Java. So, the, the, so it's already on the manual and all the, the pre-compiled application is, is on GitHub. And even if you want, it's quite, quite easy to do. You can download the software and you can compile your own application. So this is for the API and, and the backend, the system and, and the front end. And I said at the beginning, it's a web a web app that is available in the, in the repository, in the mentioned repository. The both, it doesn't matter the way that you choose, but it's going to, to direct you to uh, the installation wizard. It's quite easy and simple to, to follow. And there are two types of installation. You can do a new installation from, from scratch, or you can migrate from the latest, the older version of the, of the registry software. I'm going to speed up a little bit even more, so who is using it at the moment uh, is mostly used by public set sector. The European Commission is using it. The Spire registry is using the registry software, and there are a 
few member states who are using the registry. Uh, only Italy and Slovak Slovakia are using the version two of the of the registry. And as uh, Jordi was commenting at the beginning, it can be used by the private sector because it can be a lot and the format that doesn't have to be geospatial information, the one that you can manage with the, with the registry. This is a summary of the functionalities that I've been telling you. So for the next release that we are working on, uh, we are working on providing a new way to, to install the, the registry software uh, through Docker installation. We want to simplify the workflow and we want to improve the open the API, the integration with the registry of registers, and of course we are working facing the, the issues that have been detected by, by, by us and the, and the community. And the next release is meant to be ready by, by the end of September. This is the release plan that is available on, on GitHub. And this is what is important for us. We want the community, we want you, the user, uh, we want you to become a user if you are not, but we want your feedback. We would like to, to hear and to help us to improve the, the tool. You can do it uh, as you probably know, using open, opening uses on, on GitHub, on the repository, and also we have the discussion tab for suggestion and as announcement. And we have a procedure that is already explained on, on the GitHub repository how to contribute. And then this is something important for us because uh, we managed for last summer to be included on the Google Summer of Code 2022 program uh, because as guest project of uh, Josh, Josh Os Geo. Unfortunately, we didn't have any student because we did it quite, quite late anyway and we managed to get it. But we are going to be next year. So if any of you or in any of your organization you are starting using registry and you think that you know someone that can collaborate and want to be involved in Google Summer of Code next year, uh, please start playing with, with the code because as we, we, we already know, if you start developing, it's much easier to your, your application to be accepted for, for this program. Uh, then the future plans for, for the registry, we want to carry on improving the, the project uh, solving all the issues that uh, we, we have detected. Uh, we want to hear from the community. For, for this reason, we are submitting su su surveys. Surveys will be available on, on GitHub uh, quite soon. And we like to, to support the, the, the user and the developer of feeding them uh, training, training course, course. They will be training material uh, available. is already on, on the join app page that uh, Jordi mentioned it at, at the beginning. And also we want to, to, to strengthen the, the community that we are building around this, this software. And in addition, we want to do the integration with the registry federation tool, the, the registry of uh, register. Just to finalize the, the conclusion is that the registry software is an active project, it's an active uh, development, we already have a well-defined roadmap for, for the next three years and it's going to carry on for more years. Uh, it's an uh, open development. All the information is on GitHub and is open to, to all of you and we are open to, to hear you. And everyone can be engaged as part of the registry community, not, not only developer. Yes, reporting issues, uh, propose, proposing improvements, and even if uh, fishing and development will be perfect. So thank you, thank you for, for your time. Uh, if you want to contact us, there are our email addresses and our Twitter. So this is the Twitter of our technical leader and Jordi. Okay, thank you. Thank you.